Good afternoon and welcome back to Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. My name is Justin Smith and I'm gonna highlight a new arrival here at the dealership for you guys today. What we have in front of us is a 2014 GMC Savannah 1500 135 inch wheelbase. Obviously it's a low top van. So coming in right at six foot eight. So if you got a seven foot garage, eight foot garage, not gonna have any clearance issues with this particular model. And they're becoming more and more difficult to find since 2014 was the last year of the half ton van from GM. Now the color on this is one of the most popular colors that GM has ever offered. It's a bronze mist metallic and it absolutely is wearing very well for being an eight year old van. No noticeable rock chips or any of that right here on the hood as you can see. Uh, bumper's not all peppered up. It's just in really good shape again for an eight year old van. Um, you can't beat it. And this van has got, uh, well, we'll get the mileage once we get inside. But this van, as far as the condition on the outside goes, guys, brand new tires all the way around. 20 inch chrome fusion wheels on this, guys. And, <coughs> excuse me, and the previous owner added a really nice running board setup that I haven't seen very often on a conversion van because, um, let's face it, when you open these doors, the factory running boards that Explorer offers only come to here okay so they're designed to be hidden and these uh obviously stick out a little bit but just gives you a lot more wider platform to uh enter and exit the van which i'm sure you'll appreciate that uh if you do decide to purchase this van moving around to the back i always like to take this time to go over some of the safety capabilities um and also some of the actual capabilities of the van itself now this van does feature a factory backup cameras located in the bottom left corner of the license plate area uh does have backup sensors guys um stability track and again i don't think i haven't mentioned this this is an all-wheel drive van so extremely hard to find 2014 was the last year of the all-wheel drive um, so this just makes this van even more special than just a standard 135 low roof factory tow pep here Got the seven pin flat and the five pin flat. This van will safely tow up to uh, right around 6,800 pounds. <clears throat> Which is not bad for a half ton vehicle. Condition on both sides, all the way around this van. It's extremely well, again, for an eight year, eight year old vehicle. Um, let's go ahead and jump inside and uh, we'll go over the interior of this van. So we do have the barn doors here. And the first thing I notice when I open this van up is the different floor mats other than what Explorer would have offered. And to me, that just says this person really cared about their van. Um, you can see how nice the carpet is throughout this van. Um, and it, all the, the interior has been well, like, really well taken care of as well. So, you know, my old general manager taught me years ago when I first got in this business, if you ever get in a car and the inside's clean, you know they did the maintenance because if they take the time to clean the car, they're gonna get their oil changes. So I love getting vans like this in this kind of condition. It just makes my job a lot easier and I don't have to worry about you know problems after I sell it. So anyway, moving forward, seven passenger to low top. So we have two captain chairs. I'm sitting on one, obviously. Um, these will fully recline have armrests on both sides, okay? And will slide forward and back. Now they are on a quick release pedestal, they weigh about 45 pounds if you wanna remove this chair uh, for, for additional storage or whatever you need to do, it can be done. Now this is a three piece, or I'm sorry, a two piece power sofa in the back. Um, so it will fold completely flat and you do have storage behind the rear sofa and also underneath as well. And I would say there's probably a good 28 inches of, of storage as far as the, the, the length goes from the door to the back of the chair. And of course you can stack everything up to the top of the chair and it's not gonna go anywhere. We do have blinds on all the windows in this van. Um, I'll just pull one down right here as well. So um, yeah, all the rear windows in the back of this van do have their own blind. It's gonna ensure uh, your privacy and give you some protection from the sun as well. Um, we do have a flip down DVD system in the back. Being a low top, we don't have room for the big TV, but uh, a lot of you guys don't really care about that anymore. Um, everybody's got their own phone or tablet. So uh, entertainment um, fixed in a van is not that big of a deal anymore. Everybody's already got something in their pocket. So 
Flip down DVD, rear heat and air controls back here, uh, easily accessible from the rear captain's chairs. Um, you do, do have two cup holders right here that can be accessed from this uh, seat that I'm sitting in, and also one right here on the sidewall. Now again, being a 2014 half ton, doors on both sides, so you can exit from this side of the van or this side of the van. I wish GM never would have discontinued this, but uh, just a really good, really good floor plan in here. Uh, super, super clean. Leather and all the vinyl in this van is in extremely good condition. Um, no noticeable tears, stains, or uh, imperfections anywhere that I've been able to find so far in this van. Let's jump up into the driver's seat. We'll go over some of the features up here. All right, so being a Majestic, they, they did things a little bit different than Explorer uh, with their center console right here. Um, you either love it or you hate it. Um, the one downfall is, is it makes it a little tough to get to the back because it takes up all the room in between the front seats. However, you gain tons of storage. Um, and it's a nice little workstation too. Um, I really, I dig it, you know? Um, but I guess I'm not walking from the front to the back and I'll have little kids anymore or anything like that. So there's no need for that. But uh, yeah, huge amount of storage right here in the center console. You have three cup holders right here uh, below the radio. Uh, there's your AM FM tuner, CD player, and satellite radio capability in that radio. Here's your three rotary dials for your uh, climate control up here in the front. Um, I showed you the air controls in the back for the passengers to be able to adjust it themselves. However, it's nice to be able to adjust it if you're by yourself and nobody's back there on a hot day. So you have controls for the rear AC up in the front as well. Uh, factory backup camera, like I mentioned earlier, there it is in the mirror. Um, all the power equipment you're looking for, guys, power windows, uh, power locks, power mirrors, uh, keyless entry, remote start, all the um, uh, modern features that you'd be looking for in a, in a newer car are right here on the left side of the airbag and the right side of the airbag and allow you to access your cruise control, um, answer a hands-free phone call, um, change radio sources, volume, channels, etc. So that's all right there. Um, as far as charging goes up in the front, you got two 12 volt DCs. So you got one over here by the driver, one over here by the passenger, as well as a USB. Now this vehicle does have uh, OnStar capabilities that is a paid subscription. Um, so if you like that, um, this van does have the capability to give you that protection. And uh, that pretty much wraps up the inside of this 2014 GMC Savannah. And again, guys, I didn't mention opening a, this video. Didn't want to start it all over, but a 2014 all-wheel drive. So let's go, right? They're hard to find. This one's got low miles on it. I did say I would mention the miles. 42,000 miles on this van, guys. They're hard to find. We got it here at Paul Sherry's. Give us a call today, 937-778-0830. Again, Justin Smith, Sherry Vans. I appreciate your time. Give me a call today. Look forward to talking to you. Bye-bye.